Good Hi. morning. Good morning. I'm Veronica Hitter with Authorized Vac and Sew here in Fresno, California. Welcome to Thumbs Up Thursday. I have an amazing guest with me today and friend. You know, y'all my friends, yes. you know. Yes. But we go way back too. Yes, we do. I moved here to Fresno. So yes. this is Miss Colleen BC. And she is going to stitch with me today. And then also she's here because we have some really great deals on some things yes. and she's going to help tell, yes. she's going to help me tell you that you need this Yes, <laughs> because you own all of it too, right? Exactly. Everything we show yes. is everything that Colleen uses. Yes. And um, one of the things that we're excited about showing you is we're going to be doing a little project on the machine. And it's going to be actually a cute little mug rug. Actually, let me show yeah, you, you what we're creating today. Isn't that adorable? But in this mug rug, there's piecing inside of the hoop. Yes. Okay. And then, um, you know, there's little tricks to making the mug rug and making it look pretty. All right. Making it lay flat. And she's going to show us some of her tricks today on how she creates this. This is coming from a Kimberbell design CD. Now we are out of these right now, but we have more coming in. So if you want this and at the special thumbs up Thursday price point, then um, we will have this available on our website or you can call into the store and, and um, order this in. What are we laughing about? Who's saying hi, mom? Cassie. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that's not my daughter. Yeah, I didn't no. say Jessica. Yeah, that's, <laughs> say hi to Cassie. Yeah, that, that's good morning, my girl. That's my Cassie from. Yes. Yeah. Who so now this, lives in Virginia. So this right. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Um, okay. So uh, this actually, we're doing the heart today, but this actually has like, I think there's 12 different mug rugs. It's all seasonal. And it's really cool because there's yes. beautiful designs on here. Even if you didn't want to put them on a mug rug. You could just use like this spider right here. You could put that on a shirt mm -hmm. or you could, you know, so it's multi-purpose. On a towel, on a, hang, a wall hanging. Yeah, There's yeah. So many I think uses. Barbie's made some freestanding ones out yes. of that particular spider. And yeah. um, we used them, we put little, little she made little lapel pits yes. for it. Yes, All right, go back to us and then let me say hi. Thumbs up to Miss Carol, Cheryl, Norma. Nice. Okay, you guys. Morning, Looks Sally. like we're getting some people in this morning. How many do we have enough viewers right now to kind of get started? Yeah. Oh, nice. You know, I'm thinking this mug rug was a perfect idea. Oh, you know why? Because it's raining outside, and I'm yes. thinking that they're grabbing a cup of coffee, and they're going to think, "Wouldn't that mug rug be so nice to have here for my cup of coffee?" And there's room for a cookie. And a cookie. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, I think it's a gorgeous day here in Fresno. Yes. Welcome this beautiful yes. thumbs up Thursday. Um, today in Fresno, it's raining and I love the rain. I'm from Florida. So, oh, you know, the rain. it's and I just I love how it makes me feel. And it's just clean air. And I just I love oh, it. It just so cleans everything. It's like a glorious yeah. day. So anyway, thank you for joining us yes. on this beautiful, glorious day. And um, I think it's going to be fun to stitch with you today. So I'm excited. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, um, in addition, if you stay on this yes. through the whole segment, um, and at the end, we're going to give you a word. And I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but um, it's going to be a word that you will type in, and then you can win a $50 gift card. You will yes. be eligible to win a $50 gift card to AVS, Authorized Back and Sew here. And you can use it in our store, or you could use it on our website. Yes. So, however... You want to do that? We we can um, we can get that to you, and um, all of the things that we're Did talking about. Oh, you want to talk about the stabilizers? You were excited about yes, that. Yes, I you? was really excited. I <laughs> okay, so we've been cleaning out our yes. warehouse, trying to get ready for this ruler party that we have. Um, we have we have twenty five students each day, and it's sold out. Wow! With Kate Quinn, so we need to get wow. her back for sure. But we've been set. We've been doing that. And so we found another box of these really great deals of stabilizers. Okay. Oh. This one is called the Fabulous Five. Yes. Okay. And in this box, there are five different stabilizers. 
Okay. In fact, I'll show you real quick. There's five different stabilizers. You have your heat and gone, and gone. can't live without it. Nope. You have your tear away medium, can't live without it. Heat, heat and stay, stay. fusible tear away. I mean, these are all staples. Perfect stick. Yes. I mean, you got to have this in oh, your yeah, life your if you have an embroidery stick. machine. Oh, yes. And then last your but not mesh. least, your power mesh. And we're using yeah. the power, power mesh, mesh today. today. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So these are um, 12 inches. Okay. Yeah. And then the other one's a little smaller. Yeah, but these the work perfect because we're using the five by seven hoop today. Yeah. And these would be perfect um, size for your uh, for your five by sevens. Um, oh, six by ten. Been, Six by 10. Yeah, six by okay, 10. Okay, that will work. Yes, perfect. Okay, so there's five different stabilizers in here. There's and also thread. some embroidery thread. Nice starter. And Floriani embroidery thread, yes. too. That's the one we recommend. And then you also get two. I see three in here. I was going to say there's three. Three different design packs in yeah. here. Yeah. Okay, so the prices have gone up. When we oh, offered this. Font. Yeah, when we offered this, um, this cool. box last year. Very the cool. prices were lower than they are today. So even if you bought this at a later time, it's going to be higher in price, but we found these in our, in our warehouse. So you're saving money that way, but you're also saving money when you buy the bundle. When you buy this fabulous five like this, it is um, MSRP. That means the suggested retail right. price is $239.99. The sale price that we have today is $167.99. So you're saving $72. You're getting the extra free designs. And then we have something special else that we're going to throw in today once we start talking about it to, give you, right. to get you excited. So this can be ordered on our website or it can be, you can call the store if you want to reserve one. We only have a certain amount of them because like I said, we found a box. So I thought we would offer them today because did you know that this month is national national embroidery, embroidery month started today started today yes yes. Really? yes so we've got to give them some deals on embroidery stuff yes. right yes okay so this is the sensational seven box yeah okay and this is seven different stabilizers along with more stuff so we have all kinds of different stabilizers in here this one is a great one a great value um, because there are, wow, <laughs> there's a lot in here. <laughs> okay, so in here, you have the perfect stick yes. tearaway, can't live without, tearaway medium. Okay, this is not in the five. This is yeah. the stitch and wash fusible. If you guys have never tried stitch and wash fu fusible, you're, you're missing it. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a great stabilizer, and it's, it's, paper. It's not yeah. like the water soluble, but it is water soluble. Right. So that's really cool. That's really great to use on the back of towels. I feel no show mesh in beige. Yes. Beige is important because it is, you know, it is. how we were taught how it, to wear our undergarments and exactly. everything. Exactly. Match your skin color. Right. Exactly. So, you know, when you're doing embroidery on the back of like a, a shirt or if you were doing it something like this, right. You'd want to use the beige yes. color. That not way, the white. You, yeah. Your white would show through. Or it this. would show through. Yeah. By the way, we, we didn't even plan this. No, we the didn't. Look at, we matched today. See? Great mind. We're a real girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> and then this is called Heat and Gone. Heat and Gone, which was in the other one. And then this is Wet and Gone. Wet, wet and gone. gone is not in the five. Okay. No. So these are the things that are not in yeah. the five. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Heat and Stay Fusible. Fantastic yes. stabilizer. Yes. And there's also two design packs and oh, nice thread. more thread. Yeah. So if you um, I'm gonna just go ahead and pop that all in back in there, okay. if you decide you want one of these, it's a great, great deal. Let me tell you the deal in just a second. I and believe in good stabilizers. It. If you're going to do a project, you start with your good stabilizer because otherwise, because you're building, you're building a project. And if you start with something good and then you layer it, it's, you're not going to have your puckers and you're just going to have a better project at the end if you if you if you don't it's, it'll be a nice project but it won't be i just think this a good stabler gives you more professional outcome and that's with your true. project and, I, and, that's and, my... and colleen 
you're speaking from experience because oh, yes. I mean, you embroider probably every day. Every day I'm in there in my room. I try to be in there at least five hours. Sometimes it's eight. Yesterday I was in there a good eight hours. I had two machines working all day long. And so, they were the brother machines. Brother machines. Just yes. like this one that yes. we're going to show today, oh, which brother, is the Del Air. Yes. Yeah. So this one is $389.99. Sale is $272.99. And you're saving $117 yeah. off of last year's pricing. So um, if you're interested, grab them while they're here because they will be gone soon. I promise you that because it's such a great deal. Let's say you just got an embroidery machine or yeah. you really have just bought maybe a couple of stabilizers. These bundles are the best way to go. Yes. So go for it. And um, even if you have been embroidering for a while, that's a great way to stock up. Oh, yeah. Those are all your staples, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think that that would be um, advantageous for you. One I think so, too. Okay. I got one more thing to you talk go, about. You go, girl. Well, I'm going to talk about you. Oh. Our all Kimberbell event starts. When, yes. when are we doing our Kimberbell Club? It will start uh, February 13th. Um, it will go for six months, once a month for six months. And... Um, just thrilled to be doing this. I love Kimberbell. I'm a Kimberbell addict. I do other things. Yes, I do. But I just, their designs are just very nice. And I'm just so excited to be able to bring what I have to you and to teach you what I've learned over the seven. All your tricks. Yeah, I've been doing embroidery for seven. I've been sewing for nine. Seven I, years? Yeah, seven years. I, okay. bought, I had a memory come up that uh, the other day where I came in and bought my first Janome sewing machine from you. Oh, guys. wow. That's and right. Now I that have, was in the small store. Yes, that was over yeah. in the small store. Um, watched you move to this big store. and just Actually, and you bought, didn't watch us move. You yeah. helped us move. Yeah. Well, John did most of it, yes. No, you were yeah. right there. It yeah. was so funny. We were moving over to uh, this. We have a, if you've not been in here, we have a almost 15,000 square foot store. And so... We took over to old Hancock Fabrics yes. building. And of course, you know, mm. we were moving from a 2,500 square foot store to a 15,000 square foot store. So I, everything seems like a blur back then because I was so scared. I was like, oh my gosh. And so anyway, but this is how cool Fresno has been to me as a person. Um, so Colleen said, would you like some help to move? And I was thinking, oh, I never have customers help. I'm like, I just don't, I, I didn't know you as much then. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I really, I really, you know, I really want you to experience and not have to do the work that we do. And next thing I knew, her husband, John Vesey, pulls up with a horse trailer. Sto our stock trailer, yeah. Stock trailer, big one. Big one. How big was it? Oh, gosh. It's big. big. Yeah, he's, yeah, you can haul immaculate yeah. oh, I mean, yeah. it we was cleaned yeah. it was like it was shiny inside yeah. it was like um it was like a dream come true and they helped us M mr john and miss colleen helped us move all of that stuff from our small store which was a lot we packed a lot in there oh yeah you packed, oh. <laughs> and she helped they helped us so move nice. down to this big store yeah. and I'll never forget that. I am yeah. forever grateful. Thank you I so just, much for helping us with that. It was a great experience and watching this journey and this, I mean, this place, I, I just, there's been times in my life, I don't know what I would have done without it. And I came here and I was just, the reason I got my sewing was, machine was just to do one thing, was to sew a memory t-shirt quilt for my grandson. Well, that was the beginning of a room that is packed. I've got two dreams and a uh, brother embroidery only. My, I call him my baby. And everything has come from here. I've got a long armor that come from here. This is the place to go if you guys want to have a happy place. <laughs> the staff is wonderful. And I just, I can't say enough about this store. Everybody will, you know, see something that I do. Well, where, where do you go? In fact, I just had a friend of mine text me. She was, I've got a girlfriend who wants to learn to quilt. I said, well, I've got a place for you. And send her off to here, and and I sent her copies of the book. Wow! I took some pictures. So. Thank you. But, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And and now you're teaching here. Yeah. Now I'm teaching. Yeah. Because that's that's I do love. I've taught a young lady at the house to sew, and I've just I just enjoy it, and I've done things with my grandkids. But um, it's just you're creating, and you're just 
I just don't know how to explain it. It's it just... helps coming because like you've probably reached a lot of different frustration levels before. Oh, yeah. I mean, and so this is what really kind of helps the, the students mm -hmm. not feel so intimidated and they can come and they can actually accomplish and yes. feel accomplished and complete a project. Yes. And um, the Kimberbell Club is really a great club oh. for any embroiderer. Oh yeah, any embroiderer. Really. Yeah, exactly. It's just, every every class has got a different technique. You'll come. You'll get a USB. You'll have all the directions. You'll have a kit um, already made up for you, and you'll just uh, be able to. And I'll do. I'll demo everything, and we'll go. You'll be able to have your instructions to write everything out. Any you know tips, tricks that I uh, teach you that day. I'll bring my different tools that I use, uh, which I've gotten from here at the store. <laughs> you uh, better. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that I get here. And um, we'll just we'll just have fun. And then you can take and take it and go home, your project, and do it at your leisure. Yeah. And if you have any questions, I'll be giving out my home phone. What? Yes. And say, if you, you know, if you run into it, I can't remember what you said. Call me. My phone's always next to my machine. And as long as um, I'm not out of the room for some reason, you're going to get answered. And if I, if you don't, leave me a message and I'll be happy to call you back. This is the support you get from this store. We don't just do the eight this to five. This is the support we get from our awesome customers, instructors. Yeah. Yes. Friends, all of that. So yeah. I appreciate that so much. I really do. Yeah. So that's Kimber Bell Club. It starts yes. in February. It's $149. And you'll get six free designs um, and the kit, and then you'll get your instruction and, and more demo. inspiration. Okay. Yes. So get signed up for that. I think you have several people in that already. So oh, yeah, I think we're up to 10, I believe, last time I checked with 10. Uh, there, I think it was 10. Oh, okay. Which is, a, which is a nice size group. Great size group. Yes. yes. So we if had you'd a like to join time. that. Yeah. It's we had really a good fun. time. Yes. Um, one more thing um, is well, there's two more things, two more events. If, if you were confused when I quickly went over stabilizers yes. and you're still confused, you want to come to the No Fear Embroidery class. It's it's uh, one of, you come on either day, March 15th or 16th with DJ Anderson. It's from nine to four. It's a lecture demo all day. And he's going to talk about all the stabilizers. He's going to talk about software and and how software can enhance your embroidery machine. He's going to talk about the anatomy of the embroidery design and, and why would you need two layers of this certain stabilizer mm -hmm. and a topping? And why would you, why? Because why is this puckering? Why is my, why is my design puckering? Right. Why does it look so bulletproof? And it just like, I really like it to be a little bit more, pliable, you yeah, know, like this. Yeah. More you comfortable know, to wear that yeah. kind of thing. So, um, that is what this conference is about. And it's basically like a meeting that we have, we have tables set up and I mean, bring your notebook and pen bring your and, notebook. Yes. Yes. And you will, um, really learn, um, a lot from DJ Anderson. And then also we have a bonus, which is Judy Fred Fredenberg yeah. is coming. So it's, I'll be, I'll be coming. I mean, no matter how many events or how many classes, you always learn something. Or it's something you've learned and forgotten. Yeah. And you go, oh, that's what I could have done the other day. Mm -hmm. So I, I highly recommend it. And anytime you come to a, a function, an event, a class here, top notch. And you've been embroidering seven years and yes. you're going to go to Oh, it. yes. So see, it's, it's, it's valuable. You always learn something. You always take away something. For sure. Always. For sure. Hey, you ready to stitch? Yes, I'm ready okay. to stitch. Okay, I am so excited. This little mug rug is so cute. I love the designs on this, so let's go. Okay, we're, we're uh, stitching on the new Stellaire, which is a really awesome machine. We're all ready to go. We'll hit it. My brother, it's the XJ2. Yes. And, of course, we always start with our placement line. Did you want to show those other ones? The ones I brought. Oh, we will. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Just that way. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> oh, how long will it take this once it starts doing more stitching? Yeah, yeah that'd be we'll great. Yeah. Yeah. We always do. Our... brought some other little ones that she wanted to share with you, and I think they're extra special. So. Yeah, I made them at home. So in here, we have no show mesh yes. hooped, right? 
and it's not the fusible. It's no. just the it's the non fusible. It's just your power mesh. Floriani no show power mesh. Yes. Okay. So this is what a this is what's this stitch called? That we this just is your, did? your placement line. Placement line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, placement that way you know where to put your batting. So you um I kind of take I I take it out of the hoop probably more than most people because again I want to smooth it out. I don't know if you guys can set it see right it. on yeah. here. Okay, set it that, right no, on. No, that was good. Oh, good. Perfect. Kind of smooth it out. I like to have, again, a good foundation. At home, I'm known to tape. A lot of people say, you don't need to tape. Well, I, I just do it because, again, I start to finish. I like my foundation. There's a... Like and you're strip. making sure that this, this, this batting, and we're yes. using the Floriani embroidery batting, um, you're making... It ha already has a stabilizer in it. Yeah. So... You're making sure that that is covering that little placement the whole, line. That you just the whole placement line, smooth it out, and it'll kind of like stick to your um, stabilizer. And that way you don't have any lumps or bumps. And okay, I'm not supposed to put your. This is my purple thing. Um, That's another tool, huh? Yeah. The purple thing. Yes. That thing's been out for. That thing has been out for a while. And I love it because. <laughs> Ask me how I know to keep your fingers out from under there. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I remember that. <laughs> uh, yes. My granddaughter was. So what is that now? That, that is a replacement line? Yeah, that's exactly. It's, they put it as a basting so that you can put your, um, your first fabric. You're going to put face up right up against that line. Smooth it out again. And then you're going to take your second, which is the opposite side of the mug rug, and you're laying it face down, right up against there, right up against the basting line, smooth so it out. One side and the other side. Yes. And then you're going to do a tack down stitch. I love how this machine, how the hoop just slides in and oh, out it just so slides. easily. Yes. This is a nice machine. Yeah, it is. I had room. There's an amazing price on it. I too, know. So, yeah. If I had room, but yeah. Yeah. Brother actually allows us to sell this machine online. And so the online oh, pricing nice. is like, so yeah, when you buy it here, they still get the, all the support of our store. Exactly. So. And then even if, if you buy it online, you're out of town. We still help. Yeah. Because yeah. Sally bought, she was in, mm -hmm. uh, she's in North Carolina and she bought one. You shipped it to her. She mm -hmm. still calls. Mm -hmm. So we've done our tack down stitch. This is another tool I use all the time. Where's your, where's the case for it? It's a fabric folding pin. Um, what do we do with the case for it? It's probably in my bag. Oh, another Her little tool bag. In my little tool bag. There you are, ma'am. This is something that we haven't had in the store for a while, and Colleen brought it to my attention today. So we are going to be getting oh. this as well. Um, you can pre-order it if you want to. It's a fabric folding pin. What that? Oh, right here. Yeah, this Clover. is called the fabric folding pin by Clover. That's your refill. And you just add a couple drops of that. It's kind of like a spray starch almost, yes. but like yes. you're just kind of drawing it onto the, the folding. Right. Um, I totally forgot about this. Oh, we used to use these a lot with the hoop sisters. It comes with a refill and it's really a great, um, it makes everything flat. It does. Yes, it does. And like I said, I do use it. And, um, as you can tell, he's very used. Yes. Yeah, she's so going to make just, sure she gets it back. <laughs> you just, uh, just light. You just not a puddle, just a light. And then you just fold. Oh, keep forgetting that you guys are watching here. You just fold it over. And lay it down and see how nice that is. And then oh, on that side, I think. We okay, can see better not on that a problem. Side. You just fold it over. Can you? Okay. There you go. And then you just lay it out. It just it just makes your project seamless. Fabric folding pin. It's yes. a liquid solution. And uh, you just put a couple drops of the extra solution that they send. Fill it up with water. Screw it back on, and you're good to go. Yeah. So, anyways, you put that on, and uh, now we're gonna do. The um, the quilting. So we've got it all laid out there. Get these little guys off of there. And so on the machine, it's just step by step. Step it by shows step. Shows you on the yes. screen right here what you're doing, exactly what you're doing. So right here in this little film strip, I don't know if you can see this or not, but yeah, it actually shows there you go. the quilting part 
of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know okay. this on one side it has your whole design, what you're gonna do right here. The little X traveling, that's telling you where your needle's at. And this is what here is what the step you are doing, mm -hmm. what it's going to do, which is good to look there. What was I doing the other day? And you know, I had both machines going and I went looked and I went, oh man, I had the wrong color thread in. I looked over there, I think I was supposed to be doing eyes and um, I had red in because I thought I was, supposed, I was doing the mouth. So it was on a Santa stuffy, which is also was a Kimberbell design. And you were able to go back. Yeah, well, it. yeah, yeah, that's a nice thing too. You can actually go back on this machine and oh. fix anything, like you know, it's or you can or you can step ahead, yeah, which is something I did on the which I, when we show you the mug rugs, Cindy. Hi, Cindy, she says, Love our machine, uh, Miss Carrie. Yes, yeah, you had that at the stocking class, and it was great, nice, cute fabric. I know. Oh, and by the way, any of the fabric that we're using yes. today is in our store, it's available. And I think we were going to do a special on that too. Am I 30% off one yard minimum cuts? Okay, yeah, 30% off right now. We started it today. I mean, this is absolutely adorable. That would be great. And it's got a little Cupid um, Aww, an arrow. arrow through the heart. These are 30, this is 30% off all of our Valentine's fabrics. So you girls can, and guys can do your Valentine uh, projects. I absolutely love this one right here. Yeah. This one is like, it's a stripe, but it has the hearts on it. And I think we have red ones That as would well. be really pretty for it. Cause like I said, I made one for my grandson. And this one's probably my favorite. I love writing. I love writing, and then also it has these little hearts. Yes. You can probably see them scattered. better on this one, scattered. So it just gives it some really cool interest. I love our Valentine's fabric. This is just three of them. We have we have several bolts up front. We have a whole Valentine's Day display up there. So. Oh, yeah, it looked very pretty when I came Isn't in. Isn't it cool? It was yeah. very, very pretty. Oh, here's the one with the red stripes. Yeah. yeah. So this is just one collection. This one is by Riley Blake. So... Come get some, 30% yes. off. Yep. So, um, you know what? Um, and since this tells us how long this takes to stitch. Yes, six minutes. How much longer are we? So We're we about halfway through. Halfway through. About so why minutes. don't you share, Colleen, what you did here when you made these mug rugs. You wanted to share just a different idea, yeah. which I think did is Do you cool. want me to use over here? Just hold them up. Yeah, let's come over here. Okay, I was playing at home, so I could. Be a little, I mean, not that I'm not familiar with, but you know, it's, and then plus I needed to make something for our grandkids. This one I stitched out for our granddaughter and I did it just like um, I'm going to stitch out today because you can do other things. This is out of her grandpa's jeans. And then I just stitched on stuff from my stash, which we're all bought here. And then I made one for our grandson that is also with his papa's jeans and one of his papa's cowboy shirts that no longer is worn because it's in tatters. But it just shows you that you don't have to use the different fabrics on each one. If you want, you just lay this down and you just stitch and it holds it down. You don't have to do the um, different fabrics like you do, like I did on this one, or that I'm gonna and that I'm gonna demonstrate today. So that's for our grandson. And then I made a plain one just to show you that I just want something plain. I don't necessarily want a heart or anything. So I just took some uh, John Deere and again, Papa's jeans. So those are the, I mean, just because it's a one design doesn't mean that you have to stitch it the way it's out. Use your imagination. It can take on a whole different oh, look. It took a whole different look with the one I did for Matt and the one that I did with the John Deere, it's just plain, but... But I also love that it's a keepsake. Yes, it's grandpa's jeans. You know, it's grandpa's jeans. And yeah. grandpa's shirt. You know, I, I mean, just, I, my, my kids, I'm just sitting here, I could almost cry right now because my kids would have just loved to have had something like this. Yeah. And I wasn't that thoughtful, so be that thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> and they even have a couple stains on them from when he's been working cattle, and I think it's the iodine from when he was working cattle. That's really cool. So, yeah. yeah. And do it before they've passed away. Yes, give them stuff now because when, yeah, and they can have those as, as memories. Yeah, I sure. 
I firmly believe in memories. Um, you can go to any big box store and buy toys and whatever. Can you can let, can your kids tell you what they got for Christmas last year for their birthday last year? But when you spend time and make memories or do something like that, they're going to remember. That's just my belief. Making I, memories. I, I firmly I believe. It. Yeah, we have a fifth wheel that we take our grandkids in, and we call it the memory maker. Yeah, it is. So okay, we have Victoria crying over there now. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Isn't it yeah. so true? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. That's what it's all about. I love yeah. how you just bring it home. Oh, thank oh. you. I just, okay, so now we are going to do the stitch out for uh, the heart, the background heart, which um, was cut out on a scan cut, which you can purchase here at this store. Now, we don't have to cut it on the scan and cut. No, you don't. You can do it the traditional way. Which I will of, be showing you the traditional way. Yeah, but this this one has scallops going around yeah. it. So it's which, a little easier to pre-cut. But I did. I cut all mine. I didn't use my scan and cut at home. I just put it all out there and just cut it. But you will next time because when you see how nice this yes. is. <laughs> it really does make it, it nice. Does. It does. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because all the scallops to have to go around and cut around is a little yeah. bit more difficult. So this okay. is pink. Let's do this pink. And when you're, when oh. you're um, going to do something like this, you know, now, especially with using uh, the scan and cut where you want your placement correct, it's nice to do in another color. So I'm just using a, a, the color that more or less matches the background in this little um flower on there and then also um you can show them the needle threader oh yes oh because the needle threader on this machine just works like lickety split mm -hmm. yes so easy to thread okay we're gonna put this down perfect and watch this hit the button yeah and you're good to go boom yeah and that's very helpful for uh people with old eyes so we're just gonna go ahead and push go and it's gonna stitch out the placement for the heart. Mm. Makes it so easy. It's almost like, you know, fitting everything like in a jigsaw puzzle. Right. And yeah. if you do, you know, I could have done it in white. It's just harder with the eyes. And this way everyone can see what it's doing. Another placement stitch. Yes, this is your placement. These are great gifts to give, too. Oh, well, they are. And um, just think about, you know, you've got a, someone's going to, I got to go over here. And I'm going to go ahead and iron this heart on that's got the heat and bond on the back. And I don't know if you can we, see uh, over When here. we cut it out, we had pre-put uh, ironed on the heat and bond yeah. on the back, which is what you can do. And this, so it has a fusible now on uh, the back. Veronica? Or not, Veronica. <laughs> Victoria, can you show? So see how I've done this? I just placed it down. Okay, I'm sorry. There we go. And you have to do opposite here, and it's hard enough for me to do regular. <laughs> so you just you just place it down there. See how it covered the stitch? And we're just going to iron it on, and you're good to go. But again, you can cut out the scallops because I did it on all the other ones that I did. Yeah, I just want to make sure we're hot. And you just set it down. You don't press. You just press and count about 10 and then move it and count about 10. And this little uh, mighty iron that I am using, I have at home. It's in my travel bag. Um, great little iron to take to classes, your girlfriend's house, and retreats. And we're ironing it right inside of the hoop. Right inside the hoop. It fits in here perfect. And this is a five by seven. Right. And I so have used it inside a iron. Yeah, and I have used it inside a uh, four by four also. She said, I don't embroider, but maybe I'll start today. So pretty, so professional. Oh my gosh. Well, come on over. Let yes. us help you. Yeah, it, that's that's what we're here for because we just don't want anybody to ever get frustrated or, you no. know, or feel, feel intimidated it. by it. It's really, it's just a really fun thing to do. And it's really a life skill, you know, I mean, it's something that you can do, I think, kind of forever, you know. Oh, yeah. I, mean, unless I plan on. Eyesight or whatever, you know. So, um, there we go. Yeah. It's all stuck down. 
I also feel like it's a mental health. <laughs> it is. And it's just, it's a mental it's health. It's very calming. And then, um, so let's see. Helper. Yeah. He's all stuck down Isn't there. That, and it just, you don't have to worry about the cutting. But again, it's very easy to cut. But this just shows you that it, it makes me happy. Yeah. And the tools that we have here at the store that you can go home to, it just helps you, especially if you have trouble cutting. Because, I mean, we all get, um, and on my hands are not what they used to be. Did a lot of canning and stuff when I was um, younger. Still and do. Yes, I do. And yeah. then this is going to be the tack down stitch. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it in this color. So it's going to tack down. Yes. All of it now next. Yeah. And we'll just run a tack down stitch. And technically, if you didn't want to, because you did the heat and um, the heat and bond, yeah, you, you wouldn't necessarily, you could skip it. You just skip ahead. But I wanted to show everyone, you know, the different steps that we are doing. And if you would do, had great. cut it, it would be free uh, motion. It would, it would be all over the place. And um, this way, you this is what tacks it down after you've placed it. And then this is when you would be doing your cutting. But okay. It was already pre-cut. It was already okay, pre-cut. Nice. So we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I think I'm just, it, that's, these, that's these pretty. don't, these don't show anyways. So we're going to be doing another placement line. Well, let's see. We'll go with this first. So this is kind of like, um, crazy, crazy quilting. Did someone yeah. say something? Yeah. <laughs> Who is that sexy thing? Hotter yeah. and hotter. Ha habanero jelly. Hotter than hotter and habanero jelly. How about that? <laughs> that's Sally's Hi, husband. Dad. That's Sa Sally's husband. Nice young man. They're referring to you, Colleen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that. No, they're referring to you. Okay. I just want everybody to be clear. That's one of Colleen's friends. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And they're they're the ones from North Carolina that have bought a machine here. Oh, yes. That's Sally's husband. That's Sally's oh husband. My gosh, tell Sally I said hi, please. Yes. <laughs> 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 Lady's washing. I knew they weren't talking about me. I was going to okay. say. That. If you know me, it takes a lot. I was to just make trying to blush. get that, that habanero <laughs> jelly in there. Oh, oh my God! How do you say it? <laughs> habanero. Um. So the, the, I'm going to be using the Floriani. I forget the name. These are those micro tips. Micro tips. Scissors. And They're wonderful. I don't know if you can see the little tip. I need to come over here and show you the little tip. Okay, I got to find you. There you are. See how, maybe put it up against it. Yeah. I mean, you can just get into, when you're cutting these, you can really get into the corners around stuff. And we have this, them on sale, actually. Um, these things are only like $17.99. Great scissor to add to your um, your collection. And um, these are actually on, on sale on our website and in our store as well. Uh, and I also decided at the last minute, which I don't know if it's going to show on um, the deal with the stabilizers, but you have in your boxes of stabilizers, you know, Fabulous Five and Sensational Seven, you have stabilizers, you have thread. Bring it down. I can. You got to have a cool pair of scissors. Yes, so I'm going to throw these in with the $18 value with either one of the boxes, the five or the seven. Okay. So get yours today and you won't have to buy them individually. But if you already, you know, if you're not buying the box of stabilizer, you can buy these individually. And they're just a really great scissor. That that extra little micro point at the end really helps. It's a game changer. So we showed these last week, actually. We still have a few left. So wrong way. So now we're going to do another placement. And you're just building your puzzle. So this is crazy quilting. Yes. Now, if you were going to have, say this was gonna be raw edge, which this will not be because you're gonna have a satin stitch around it. If you take and um, put some fusible backing like SF 101, which you carry here in the store, and you put that on the back, you see the, I don't know if you can see them that well, but you have little, what I call eyelashes. If you put your um, SF 101 on there, on the back of the on the back piece. of the piece, when you go to trim it, 
you're not going to have any eyelashes. And then we, when it's raw so you edge, stabilize all of your pieces. Before. If, if That's it's going to be raw, if it's going to be a raw edge, yes. Really? Oh yes. wow! Or if um, your background fabric for showing through, like this white one. Um, and I think Barbie did put some backing on it. Feels like it, yeah. She sure did. Yeah, because otherwise you're oh, gonna. Oh, this is a tip. This is a this is a tip from the expert. Yeah, you, yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna. It would show through if you laid it down here and you didn't have a fusible backing on there. Yeah. That pink, it would show through. So therefore, if you back it, you're not going to have any shadows. And if you have. Um, it's a fusible non-woven yes. stabilizer. Yes, SF 101. Um, SF 101. Yes. It, it, we used, it used to be called Shape Flex back in the day. It was, okay. It's a great, it, it's not a stabilizer. It's an interfacing. Interfacing. Yeah, it's actually Thank an interfacing. You. So um, it's something that's meant to stay on the back yes. of your project. It doesn't so, go away. Yeah, so we sell that by the yard here. Yes. Um, SF 101, you can ask for it or we can ship it to you however you want right. to do that. What did I do with my scissors, girly girl? Here. I put oh. them back. Oh, sorry. See, Jeez. you're going to miss me in your sewing room. <laughs> that won't be Veronica going to tell me where I put it. <laughs> or so Veronica that... won't be taking it somewhere that you don't know. <laughs> and then again, you just you, know, you just cut around. I'm trying to do it faster. Up there, it takes me a little bit more, and I don't want to keep you guys all day. But this is the fun part. It's fun cutting, isn't it? Yeah. You know, and... Enjoy the process. That's what another thing I believe in. Enjoy the process. It's not, it's not a race. We're not trying to beat somebody. If you're in class and somebody has two steps ahead of you, who cares? Bless them and let it go. Yeah, bless them and let it go. <laughs> Just enjoy your process. You know, it, it's... Oh, my it, gosh, Colleen, you're cracking you. me up. This is all about you your machine, and you time. That's what this is about. And in this day and age, well, even back when I was raising kids, we forget that you were you before you were a mom, a wife, a grandma, anything. You were you first. So... Let's put this white one up here. Isn't that the truth? Let's see. And that's another thing. You see your placement line. So I've got this little heart. I want to get him in there. So I kind of look and I peek under my fabric so that I can see where that heart's going to be. See, I can you go over here to this real quick so I can show them? I, I, noticed, Barbie, I noticed Barbie did this as well. Yes. She was fussy cutting. There you go. She was placing it. So see how the heart is going right in the center of the yeah. fabric? Because because she could see her placement yeah. line, that's what Colleen's doing. So she can get that little cute yeah. little heart going yeah. down. Take your time. And be, that's Think that's ahead. the creative part. Yes. Take your time. And it took me a long time. I mean, when I was first learning, ask Barbie. It was like I wanted to look just like hers. I... Uh, I didn't want to color outside the lines. And you know what? She taught me push buttons and just be you. And I love that. Just be you. Kathy says, love yourself first, then you can love others fully. Yes. True that. People are loving the wisdom with you, Colleen. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. That's what the store is all about, too. It's it more is. than just sewing. It it's is. more than just embroidery. Colleen, you know, I am having flashbacks from when you first bought your Janome machine from yes. me, which did not have embroidery. And you no. came in and you told me. Yep. You said, I do not want embroidery. I just want a really great sewing machine because I want a quilt. And that's all I want to do. I don't want to push the buttons yep. and I don't want anything too complicated. Yep. I mean, she went on and on and, you know, I gave her what she wanted. Yes, she did. But every time she came in, I'd show her a cute little something. <laughs> yeah. And then she just kind oh. of, I don't know. It just, there was like a light switch that went off, you know, well, and it was, that. I don't know. What was it that drove you there? Probably grandkids. Uh, no, 
Actually, it was my first Kimberbell event here. Oh, with Barbie. Oh, okay. and I took it, and you said, you know, come on, why don't you just check this out? Oh, <laughs> but you know, it was a good thing. I never it feel bad. I oh, no, never just, feel bad no. for, for twisting somebody's arm a little just to get them to experience something different. Oh, you yeah, know? and that's right. And I could have walked away and said, yeah, wow, no, not for me. But it was like, wow. <laughs> wow. And sure. Kathy Hefner, are you going to offer the monthly club? Yes, yes. ma'am. We are offering the monthly Kimberbell Club. We would love to have you, Miss Kathy. Yes, you must bring your babies, though. Yes, you must bring the babies. Yes. And let's see here. The monthly club starts February 13th. Yes. And it's a six-month club, Kathy. So give us a call. We can get you signed up if you want help with that, okay? Yeah. Please. Someone else is asking, what in the hook design is this? Oh, okay. Let's go back here. You want to come back over here? This is the Kimberbell, and it's called... The CD, it's called uh, Kimberbell Holiday and Seasonal Mug Rugs Volume 1. And it has uh, 12 different mug rug designs in it, which are super cute. Thank you for the question. Yes. You're welcome, Kathy. And then Carolyn's asking babies as in the machine. <laughs> no. Oh, no. You wouldn't have to bring your machine to the Kimberbell no. Club. And a lot of our classes, you don't have to bring your embroidery machine yeah. because we supply them. Um, babies are that Kathy Hefner has two dogs that we have just become, have yes. become a part of our family. They're Summer's friends, which Summer is my little white dog that runs around here. And, I've been smiling um, at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so um, she brings them and they're just amazing. They're, so, they're just trained. So amazing. So oh, we yes. always welcome animals that are well-trained and that can't live without you. Can't my, that's why Summer's here in my store with me right now. She can't live without, she can't be alone. I mean, if she is, it, it, it's a separation anxiety yeah. thing that happens. And, yeah. and I think I have it too, to be honest with you. Yeah. Being Ru away Ruby's from not happy. <laughs> He's at home. No. Because remember when I used to bring her and yeah. I'd come to classes and I'd bring, Ruby her, in Tuesday. Mm -hmm. bring her in her stroller. Yes. And she'd sit there and people, I'd, I'd find her, you know, I'd watch the time and I'd either be giving her a little treat or taking her outside. And they said, we didn't even know there was a dog in no, there. No, I know. They thought I'd used it to bring my supplies in. They're so, so no. sad when they, yeah, when you leave them and especially if there's not another dog at home. Yeah, in fact, I think this was. Like a second or third place I brought her to show her to you. I was so excited. Yeah. She's my retirement dog. So we're just, you know, you can just use scraps on this. Oh, you know, that's, you I just. Anything works, right? I keep my scraps, pieces like this. I have them in uh, Ziploc bags by color. And um, I just pulled out, uh, for, for Bailey's, I just pulled out my scrap bag and just laid them out. And I went, okay, boom. Oh yeah, you don't you don't throw things away. So here um, again, you're cutting around. Yep. Yeah, you just cut around. This is our last one. You get your. Uh, have to make sure it covers that placement stitch. Yeah, you just always want to make sure it's big enough to cover, or you'll be sad. But you guys again, start working on mug rugs. <laughs> <laughs> you just get another piece and put it on top. That Barbara, covers. you could do this with your seven seventy. He said, "Thumbs up." You can do this on any embroidery machine. The embroidery yeah. files on the CD yes. are for all format. Yes. So it doesn't matter if you own a Brother or if you own a Bernina or a Janome or one of the other brands. Um, this this will work in your embroidery machine. And we're again, we're using the five by seven for this. Yes. So you can, you know, if you have a smaller embroidery machine, you don't have the larger hoop size, then um it can be done in that. But speaking of real quick, you can go as you put that back yes, in there. Right ahead. This Stell Air that we have on sale is has a and Barbie, if you'll chime in on this, um, because I see you're on here. Um, this hoop size is huge and you get several hoops with the machine, but this hoop size is not going to be limited. You can do edge to edge quilting with this machine. You can do all kinds yes. of things. Yeah. So we have a lot of questions. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. People are interested. Okay, Hi, so, Vicki. Oh, what is the cost of the disc? Yes, that's one of them. What's the cost of the disc? I'm pretty sure it's over here. 
$37.99. Oh, okay. That's cheap. For, I was going to say, yes. Yeah, that's a really good price on that for all of those designs. Yeah, yeah. it is. So yeah. please pre-order through us. And um, yes. again, we're out of them right now, but we'll have them next week and we'll get them to you right away. Um, is this what Colleen will be showing us if we sign up for the Kimberbell Club class? This is, no, we have six different projects. Yes, um, not this, this one. Not this particular one. And you'll be getting the free designs as well. Today, we're showing you how awesome Colleen is so that you will sign up for Kimberbell Club, okay? And we hope to see you, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah, I won't be doing this exact one, but a lot of the techniques will be in the different classes that I will be teaching. Oh, no, Becky, you have volume three, four, and five, but you don't have volume one. Well, oh. We can fix that for you. Yes. Oh, she just called Pat, P Patricia, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I, Barbie says, I love the hoops that size. I do my own quilting oh, now. Yes. What size is that hoop, Barbie? I think it's 10 and three quarters by. Oh, I didn't say it on there. Oh, I didn't see on mine. Does it? it? Is. I don't know. Oh, look, dear. You don't have to pass it. Yeah, this is nine and a half by 14. Oh, nine and a half by 14. Yeah. That's, that's a nice size yes. hoop. Yep. Yeah. And then Sarah has another question. She says, is the club easy for beginners or for some? It is 100%. the perfect place for a beginner. Perfect place. And I because, think you're really good at explaining things. Oh, well, thank you. Because I was, ask Barbie. I had nightmares. You're oh, someone Barbie. I would want to learn from. Yeah. I do enjoy teaching. I'm not really dig in the whole TV thing, but I'm yeah. happy. I'm, I'm having but I am having fun and I do love to teach. I just I know there's just something about it. I don't know. So You're doing great. But adults. It, it's adults. Oh okay. Although I don't did. know you did teach I that did. young gal that Sienna. came to our kids camp. Oh. Sienna and she took yes. off with it. So. Yes, she has. She came over and, and took some classes. I always with say, me. if you can teach kids, you can teach adults. That's yeah, for sure. and she just and she's got her own sewing machine now. She's um, my husband's ex boss because John's retired now. And she came over and we, she came over once a week and we had so much fun. Her mom would come. Oh my gosh. Her mom. And yeah. We, yeah. And then she came. Five. Yeah. And then she, I told her, I said, now you need to take the things, you know, the basics, go to kids camp. Yeah, and because they have a kids camp kids here, camp is amazing. Ah, uh, I think, and I think that I think is we it? only have three spaces oh, left. Oh my gosh! Well, summer. yeah, is it almost? Oh, is, is there already five kids? Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So don't don't wait. Yeah, sign up. Yeah, Love yeah. Sharing please. the joy of embroidery. Yes, you do, Barbie. Yes. You and Colleen, yeah, could be sisters. Yeah, we're almost. You're your yeah. soul sisters. Yes, we are. Your your embroidery soul sisters. I haven't checked on her this morning. What already. do we do? A project a weekday or the week? Does the club meet and what is the cost? Okay. So the Kimberbell Club class meets once a month. Once a month. It starts February 13th. Yes. It ends on July 9th. Mm -hmm. It is $149. It's from 10 to 12. And it's here in the store. You don't need to bring your machine. No. You don't need to bring anything. Just You'll get bring your a cup of coffee. You'll get six different designs um, included. Will we have coffee and snacks? Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> and also, um, you'll get your kits as well. Yes. And they're, the kits are made out of Kimberbell fabric. Yes. So they turn out just like the Kimberbell. Look. And then uh, and this, then you will take your kit, your... Um, USB with the uh, project for that month on it. And we'll have printed out instructions. You'll get a binder and then you will get your kit and you'll be able to go home and do it. I will demo it. And then you can ask me all the questions about the project we're doing or any questions that you've had at home that you, you're you stuck on and you need help with. Bring bring your questions to class and I'll do my best to help you. And if if I am not able to, I've got this friend her name's Barbie, and she'll know it. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah. no, between the two of us, we'll be able to answer any questions, recommendations, you know, stable. And like I said, I highly recommend that stabilizer event that they're having. So now what we're going to do, we're going to move on to the satin stitch for the outside of your heart. This is where it gets pretty. This is where it really, your design starts to come alive. That's what I call it. It starts to come alive. And it does all the work for you. And it does. Jean Denton, if you have the 77 pictures, you can learn Absolutely. Um, Jean, all of these designs right here, 
work on any machine. Okay, so we will show you how you can upload these designs onto a USB and then we'll plug it into your machine. They'll pop up and you can get to stitch it. Okay, we will help you if, if, if you have a if you, if you don't know how to do that, Gene, you bought your machine here and we will that's part of your purchase is for us to help you get there. Okay, yes. I will be out of the country on 49 class. Will I still be able to get the design for that class? Yes, yes great question. Absolutely. Very good question. Yes. Do you ever offer classes, these classes virtually? Not at the moment. Um, we are working on some virtual classes, so stay tuned. And what it's doing right now is doing like almost like another tack down stitch, but what you can see is it's doing little zigzags. And as you as it's doing that, watch your machine and watch your project because if you do have any eyelashes, I call them, or threads sticking out, you can stop your machine and you can clip them before the satin stitch. And that way you don't have any little threads sticking out. Um, and that's what these, these scissors are so great for because you can go in there and just get right up next to those little um, zigzag stitches, what I call them. And I, that's a great uh, feature of a Kimberbell design is it doesn't just go straight to the satin stitch. Um, that way you get your, your little designs going to come out really nice for you. It's really turning out pretty. Uh, we're having lots of people saying that they're going to be out one of the dates. They're looking yes. at the Kimberbell dates. That's okay. Yes. We will still, if you're in the club, we will still make sure you get your design. Yes. Um, and, and you, instructions. And your that. kits. And your kits. Because yeah. when I cut the kits, I'm going to put them in individual, obviously, um, little bags. I'm going to put your name. They go in page protectors. Page, the instructions do. Instructions. And, and, and your kits do. And we'll pop those kits Okay, well, we'll pop your well little too. kit. And what I'm going to do is put your name on there. And then, of course, if the instructions are in there, um, you'll know what projects it's for. Because I've done classes, and I've taken stuff home, and I've set it to the side, and then I pick it up, and I go... I what this was for. Yeah. You know, so, I, yeah. so I'm going to put your name on. That way, if you're not in class, I will give your package to Sarah. When you come in, go into Sarah and she'll load your USB because you must bring your USB uh, thumb drive to every class. That way we can load your design for that month. You'll go into Sarah, she'll give you your kit, she'll load your design, and you're good to go. And if you have any questions, you just on that, you just next class ask me and I'll be happy to help you. You know, I'm going to just check something real quick. Certainly. I went here to my checklist and I'm going to go over to the embroidery speed. It's right there. We're at what? Maximum 600. So Is you that can, maximum? No. Well, knowing that's that's the, the max embroidery speed it was at. Well, let's go to 1050. 1,050 okay. stitches per minute. Sorry about that. There you go. And... That's okay. Yeah, you gotta wait to just there you go. There we go. There you go. And let's let's speed this baby up. So we were at 600 stitches per minute, and we just went up to 1,050 stitches 50 per stitches. minute. Yeah, and so you can go over goes faster. Stitches per minute. Now the one thing that I love about embroidery mm -hmm. about uh, brother and their embroidery is the even if you speed up the embroidery and it and the machine knows that that's not that's not a great speed for it, it will slow down. To the to the correct speed, so you never compromise your stitch quality. Yeah, if you only listen as it goes around, see how it slowed down because it's going in that curve. The machine slowed itself down, and then it will speed back up again. Yes, yes. So yeah, these these machines are very smart. They are, and I highly write this. This is a very nice machine. Love the brother embroidery. Yeah. I love my dreams. I mean, don't get me wrong. I and this is a Stell Air. This is the XJ2. Mm -hmm. So this is a sewing and embroidery machine. So you have both with this in this one. And then they have an XE1 that if you already have a great sewing machine and you would like to just add the embroidery portion of this, they have just an embroidery only machine. And that's a really good deal today uh, um, today as well. So we're we're we're, focused, we're we're premiering the XJ2 um, sewing and embroidery machine, and we have a great bundle package that's coming yes. with it. Do we want to flip to that real quick? Yeah. Or, are yeah, we okay? Oh, do we? Oh yeah. my goodness. We have Laura asking. I'm writing up this one. Not just embroidery, new things world. Class help me as a newbie. 
Yes. Absolutely. Come join my world. Yes. Come yeah. join my world. Absolutely. You come on. We welcome you. Sarah Diaz. Will the 149 fee include the materials for the classes? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yep. It'll include your kit. Everything. And then Becky says, I have volume one and my seven ordered. Oh. <laughs> she's a sensational seven. Oh, her oh, nice. seven. There you go, Becky. Good, good deal. Get it while you can. And I'm going to throw in those scissors as well. And then let's talk about these, this deal on this machine because, you know, Colleen, you mentioned that you have two machines. Yes, I do. They're exactly the same. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Yes. So if you get a machine at a really great deal and you already have an embroidery machine, that's not, that's not crazy. You're not crazy, no. right? Well... <laughs> Out. But um, what I like about I can be embroidering, like yesterday I was embroidering, and I was embroidering on my dream, but then I, because I have one here, because I have one of her great cabinets, and I turned here, and I've got my other one here, so I was sewing binding on some of my table toppers, and I was embroidering at the same time. Really good deal. Yeah. Okay. Or having, having two, uh, we're going to now be doing the center stitching, and I have put in- Twice the fun. Why I just the, thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> it is. And then I have my little one, my baby one that I make my cards on that's over on my cutting table on the far end. Wow. So I make, and it goes up to a six by 10 hoop. So I could do any of these on there also. And wow. I have, I've done a lot of stuff for Christmas, little projects over on my baby. I have switched to a variegated thread. I'm kind of a variegated um, woman. And this is also Flor Floriani. It just gives a different look. I'm just going to do it to show you what variegated does look like. And uh, we do carry it in the store. I think we still have a special on the boxes. We sold out of them. Oh, wow. But because um, it was such a great deal, it had, I think, 30 colors. In, all oh, all yeah. of the variegated yeah. Moriani thread colors that they have yes. available. Um, but you can still get them if you're interested. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, they're, and, they're, really cool. and they're just fun. They're a yeah. lot of fun. I use them a lot. I just love watching the machine stitch. Oh, it's I know. Nice I'm sorry. If we're just sitting here watching our machine stitch. Believe yeah. me, if you have an embroidery machine, you do the same thing. You will. <laughs> sometimes I just sit there and I watch and I think, oh, you're supposed to be binding. And I'll go over there. And sometimes I just let myself watch. It's therapeutic. Just, just take a break. Can we go Breathe. through the stellar pricing? Because yes. I think some of them might be wanting to know what our deal is. Okay. So we have the Brother XJ2. It's the sewing and embroidery machine. The suggested retail is... 14,000. We have it on sale for 10. And it's actually including right now where you can get the scan and cut or you could get the printer. One of those items you can get. They're both the same price, basically $999 value on sale, both of them. They're worth much more than that. Also, Tony has thrown in a sensational seven box of stabilizers. So that's the big one. Yeah, it's the big one. So kind of like, it's kind of like you'd have everything you need to start this machine. So you have this sensational seven big box of stabilizers and thread and all of that. And then also Tony decided to throw in the Kimberbell yeah. disc. So you would have a project to work on as soon as you get the machine. And I decided to throw in this pair of scissors so we'll put this in your box for you if you buy if you buy the sensational seven or the or the fabulous five or we'll also throw them in the box for you if you buy the machine and you get it that that for free so so you come here you pick your machine up your stabilizers you've Someone got a project how much is it oh that is a great bundle it sure yes. is miss norma if you're interested please let us know um, we can ship this machine to anybody now, um, or if you buy it here at the store, um, we will sit down with you, do one-on-one -on -one lessons. If you buy it out of state or anything like that, then uh, we also can work out uh, lessons with you virtually. So we are happy to do that. Um, we want you to learn how to use the machine and use it to its fullest potential. This is the best way we know how is to um, continue to inspire you. Yes. So yeah, for... Oh, and then look at that. Interest-free is only $298 a month with approved credit for 48 months. $209. And yeah. you can be embroidering and you have basically all of it. Everything. And then you come get some fabric for 30% off. Yeah. And bam, bam, Valentine's done. You have everything. You have a yes. stabilizer. You have a great pair of scissors. Thread. You have thread. You have um, 
a scanning cut scanning or a printer. Cut. Yep. I mean, no, that's that's really good price. Very yeah. good price. Yeah, it is. And you're on your way to happy sewing because yes. this machine, if you've noticed, we've not had one problem with no. it. The needle threader works yes. amazing. Um, the sewing machine alone is worth the ten thousand dollars. Oh, the embroidery part is the bonus, and it's worth ten thousand dollars. Yes. So I mean, you're really kind of getting like a twenty thousand dollar machine for ten thousand. Yeah. So. Um, it just, it just, and it just so so nice. And that boy, that variegated it looks so good on there. Yeah, it just gives it a, a different look. It really does. A little yeah. different dimension, and they also have a twisted fabric, a uh, twisted thread by Floriani. Yeah, I like that. And it's. Uh, Really, you can't tell on the spool how yeah. variegated it is. Yes. We have several different. Pro there's yes. six different there's ones. Six um, different. I know. Let, can you go get the this? We'll start. We'll show you the banner one to yeah. start. Okay. Is that the one we're starting with? We're starting. You know, we're starting with the uh, pillow. Pillow's the first one. Oh, the little pillow. It's got a okay. snowflake on us. You'd be uh, learning uh, to use uh, glitter. Um, and then we've got a banner. I don't remember which order we're doing the banner. We've got a uh, freestanding lace project, which I was always afraid of, and now I love freestanding lace. In fact, this banner has some freestanding lace. These hearts are all freestanding lace done in two different colors of variegated thread. So there's this banner. And we um, put it on a stand here. Yeah. Yeah, which will it'll attach on the back. We've just yeah. got little flippies on there right now. Yeah. But you're going to use learn applique in the hoop. You're yes. going to learn how to do the freestanding part. It has a little cute little saying on there, yes. which says, home is where you hang your heart. Isn't that the truth? So, yes. yeah, so there's six different projects. And, again, you're going to learn new techniques with every project. Yes. The hanger, freestanding lace. It all think, kinds of, yeah, they I cover can't. applique in the hoop. And I'm not sure if stuff. you go on the the portal to order um to sign up i don't know if it shows the projects or not i don't know i don't i don't think so no because sometimes we change our minds hey, and i understand <laughs> we can't go out six months we can yeah. on the dates but as far as the projects are concerned yeah. sometimes we change our minds we yes. something new comes up and they were like oh well let's do that yeah now what it's going to do is a nice little decorative stitch on top of your satin and i'm going to do that in white so that um it doesn't take away from your variegated thread. I like that you're changing the thread colors in front of them each time because oh. so they can see how fast oh, that, yeah. that is. You don't have to be able to see, really. I'm just not used to doing it standing up. But yeah. No, it's just very easy. Thread's real nice. Sounds like it's marching at first. Yeah, it does. What's well, doing your um like a lock stitch? Oh. It's still popping all over the place. So everything's done in the hoop. Check and refresh. Didn't like something. So you just walk it back out, never pull it up through because you'll mess up with your tension. So you walk your thread back out. Isn't that funny how I just said we've not had I one know. problem? <laughs> well, I'm also going to check the bobbin because sometimes... Nancy, this is a great thing that you're doing right yeah, now. Sometimes, you're how to troubleshoot. Mm -hmm. sometimes if your bobbin is getting low, which this one is not, um, it will tell you because it's not having a good tension on your bobbin. So I wanted to check that, but it's fine. Sure it's in there because I think. Oh, I'm at, I'm I'm questioning the expert. I know. <laughs> you go right on. You go. Aren't I horrible? No, I know. we're not it's, horrible. I know, but you know, there we go. Never so. check that bobbin too many times. No, and then I always back it up at least. So if you'll um, over here, I don't know if we can show the up screen up. Whenever I have a stop like that, that's all right. And then I just go over to here and I always back it up a minus 10. That just 
That way you catch that thread and you don't have any threads pulling out on you. And then you just start over. And then, you know, I think this is also a good lesson because it's doing so much on top of. Yes. That's where you would probably want to slow it down. Yes, you could slow, slow it and down. That's, so being able to change your embroidery speed is very important. Um, yeah, because that allows it to kind of form the stitches a little bit better. Yeah. Well, well let's see how this baby runs. Yeah, so far he's doing good. <laughs> he just, there could have been a few. Oh, you know what? It could have actually been the variegated thread because the variegated thread is a little bit harsher dyeing. Yes. Because it goes from, you know, red to pink. So the process of it can also be, yeah. you might want to slow down your embroidery speed with variegated thread. I really want yeah, to learn to applique. I hope that won't be on the class date I'm going to knit. Sarah? We're going to help you do applicates, okay? Yeah. Whether you can come on the date or you can't come on the date. Okay? Yeah. If uh, if it is on your that date, Sarah, the next class you come to, remind me, and you can stay afterwards, and we'll have a little one-on-one -on -one time. Can't beat that. I've had my machine for a year, and the embroidery unit hasn't come out of the box. Looks like oh. it's time. Good. You're, okay, Jean Denton. You know, oh, my land. Jean, Jean travels a lot. Oh, wow. Well. That girl is busy. Yeah, I can so, understand that. Yeah, so Jean, um, we will get you going on that. So if you, if you stay in town long enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, certainly. Do I get that up the top? Variegated is so much fun. It's kind of hard to see, but you can really see it when it stitches. So yeah. it's, it's basically it's a, a darker pink and a lighter pink. Yeah. And it's variegated. And then, and then I don't know if they can see that. Oh, it has some white in there yeah. too? Yeah. I don't think they can see it like that. But yeah. come into the store. We'll show you. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, and now, so we're done with the top. So now we're going to take the bottom, the back, I should say, not the bottom. I'll put it over here for you ladies if they can see. And you're going to put it face down pretty side down just lay it up here um just smooth it out nice and pretty use some tape if you'd like to which i as i told you in the beginning i'm a i have tape and i have a you tape use, farm you use kimberbell tape yes don't i you? use my mm -hmm. kimberbell we have that on our website and in the store as well you can use it you could um, stitch on top of it if, if, if you happen to oh stitch yeah you stitch on top like for zippers and stuff yeah. and it just peels right yeah. off mm -hmm. it doesn't leave any residue and you can you reuse it i have a little tape farm over here the other day my grandson came in and we were talking and i was stitching and he started doing this with all my tape so what are you doing he goes what just put that's my tape farm don't that, don't <laughs> He was oh, okay, or that's great. So yeah, I have my tape farm. You can reuse it. I just and now it's doing a, like a triple stitch to really tack this down, which is another thing because sometimes some don't. There's some designs I've used and it just does a regular stitch. And what I will do is I will back the machine up and do it again so it has a real strong because you're going to be turning this. And if you wash it, you want this um, stitch to be very secure. But with Kimberbell, they usually do a triple stitch. So that's one good feature about being able to back this up. You just do it once, go back to the beginning, do it twice, and you've got, you've got a double um, stitch to hold your um, project together. This would be a really fun project to do with your grandkids. Yes. I've done a lot, uh, especially with Bailey. I think Michaela would love this. Oh, yeah. yeah. For Valentine's Day, she could make something. Or even any of them. Really. Oh, any she of them. She has a season. There's oh, a, the spider. That would she'd I, probably just I love would that. I to see her making these as gifts for her teacher. All that. Her mama. Yes. Oh, yeah. Teacher's gifts from a kid. How cool is that? Okay, and then it's done. And it will tell you, it will sing you a little song. It says finished embroidery. You just pull it out. And uh, then we'll take it out of the hoop. I think we'll do this Let's do part that over, over here. here. Yeah. Certainly. And grab those cool scissors too. 
Yes. Kai oh, my Kai's. Yes. And again, scissors are extremely important. You really want to have, well, that didn't work very well. You want to have um, good tools. It's just like anything. A carpenter is not going to have a $2 um, Kmart. I should probably shouldn't say a brand name, but anyways, a $2 hammer. <laughs> Sorry, Kmart. Um, because it's not going to last. And same with, same with your um, quilting, embroidery, any of your tools. You want to get, and these are the um, highs. And they're a sheer, and as you can, let's see, I'm having trouble with this backwards you're gonna forwards. You're going to see the blue tape. Oh, you perfection. Blue tape and you're great. These are the Kai yes. 7000 series. I mean, if you ever, if you, if you really want an excellent scissor. Like butter. I mean, these yes. are amazing. And these are eight inches. Eight inches, yes. Eight inch yes, scissor. And look at the look at the curve on them, and then I want you to see how nicely they cut. And they're, they're also they're also flat on the bottom, so if you're cutting, you can lay them down, and it just cut really nice. I'm a I'm I pick mine up to cut, but I'll try to do this for you, ladies. Well, actually, I usually use a ruler because what you want to do is you want to cut about a quarter inch outside of your last stitch. You don't want to cut your stitches, obviously. So a nice quarter inch, and you can do it freehand. Um, also, another good thing that Veronica, Veronica, I don't I think you're out of stock, but you might be getting some more in as your the pinking shears. Yes, those yes. are because um, on a on a project like this, your pinking shears do the the zigzag cut, if you will, clipping it at, the, and uh, your seam lays down nicer. So I do use pinking another shears. Tip. A lot. So you just cut. Sorry. It's okay. Oh. You're cutting in front of um, how many people do well, we have on here now? It's like 76 people. Okay. Well, yeah. We could have went without knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay I will say you did get another sign up for Kimber Bell Club. So you have Maureen Bean Burns joining. Oh, you. Well, good. welcome. welcome. Sorry, I'm just going to toss okay. it over there. Now, um, and also when you notice, I don't know if you noticed when it was stitching out, but it started here and it stopped over here. And this is your opening for turning. So when I cut my opening for turning, I'm going to try to keep it so you ladies can see. There's where the stitch ends right there. And then I go out and I'll show you why in a few minutes. And you just go in. Then you clip your corners. That always, now if you'd used pinking shears, you wouldn't need to necessarily clip your corners, but I always make sure there's at least a Z or an X right there. Sarah says if you use pinking shears, does this mean you can forego the zigzag stitching? No, 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 no. Yeah. The, the zigzag, pinking shears is for cutting. When you cut along here, it gives you a- Like a zigzag. It's like a zigzag mm -hmm. cut. It's what you used to use back in the day before we had overcasting, like with sergers yeah. and all of that, to keep the fabric from raveling. And then if you pull your project apart, you're going to see that you, that's where you're going to turn it. Now, if you don't want your bulk to you take your bulk out, I always, I always snip right across here. It just less bulk in your project. Of course, Barbie added her little tidbit in that after you turn it, you can glue it closed. Of yes. course, Barbie's going to tell you to glue it. Yes. <laughs> and, and I do, um, okay, so I'm going to turn it back out. It's, it's kind of like birthing your project. You're making it come out into the world. Um, and the best thing to do is, I'll start over, is um, go to one of the corners and pull your corner out. Um, yeah. and then you're good and uh then you just kind of keep turning it just use your thumbs push then you can uh, do a little bit of pulling here but just be gentle don't be in a hurry take your time it will appear as you can see all of a sudden yeah that's all right this one's pretty good, you know, yes, because the R&K turning tool, 
is really good. Is yeah. yes, I have I think three of them. This different stations that I work at. So I I'll use my fingers right now. And another little tip or trick that I've learned. Oh, thank purple. you. I've got my purple she thing. She can use her purple thing even. It's yeah. not as stable as the turning. Yeah, tool. it isn't. But, but it'll, it's okay. It'll help. It'll still help. Yeah. Get your corners out. Take your time. Don't be too harsh. Just kind of poke. That's why the turning tool has a little round, like a blunt yeah. tip on it. And it, it's not as likely to push through your fabric because you don't want to do that. So just kind of lay it out. So this is what it's going to kind of look at like when you turn it. You're going to have your little excess right here. So we'll go over here and we'll give it a nice little press. If I can move all my stuff here, it's all right. Get that last. There we go. And another thing I have found that if you've got a corner that's being stubborn, which they will be. Now this one not so bad because you don't have a lot in um, in the project. But if you'll set this your iron right there on the corner. Just right there on the corner, and just you know, count about ten, and then take it off. That corner is pliable, and then you put oh, your the turning. Yeah, the heap, you know, and it makes it. Really and then you warm. can take your turning tool in there, and then just get that nice, perfect corner. That's something I discovered. I don't even know what I was doing, and I discovered cool. that. Get this out of your way. Sure, please. thank you. So you just give it a nice little uh, press, and then we'll take. And then what you'll do is you'll take your two little edges. Oh, that's why you left that little extra edge yes, on it, there. Because if you do a quarter inch, you don't got much to play with. So I I like it. I keep doing that because okay. I'm so used to. And you just do it right there. And then you give it a nice iron. And sometimes I'll even use a couple wonder clips and just let it, especially if it's a little bit more bulky. Now, this isn't very bulky. And I'll... Iron it, put a couple window clips on it, and let it just sit there for a few minutes, and then go back and just run a, a thing of glue, as our Barbie, and then you know well, iron you it. Straight stitch. Do you straight, could, I want to know. Do you straight stitch or do you nope, glue it? Nope. I I either use glue or I use the easy seam tape. Okay. So I okay. use I use both of those. Um, and what kind of glue do you use? Is it that? Uh, it's the one that we have here that Barbie used. I fabric think it's fabric tack. tack. Fabric tack. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And it's a really nice, it's a clear glue. Um, oh, Cynthia, Cynthia says she's saying, saying goodbye. Cynthia, if you stay on, you can yes. win a $50 gift card. I'm getting ready to give that word. So here, ladies. So hold on a second. It's not glued, but here she is. And here's your back. And just, you know, like I said, if I wasn't talking, I mean, you could have this done. In fact, the machine tells you it's going to take 20 minutes. Um, but we've clearly taken an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for seeing me. <laughs> we've had fun. It's yes. Been, it's been really fun. So I appreciate you. Thank yeah. you so much. Hey, you re ready for the word? Yes. What's okay, our girl, word? Guys, whoever's watching out there, Summer, let's give them the word. You ready? Summer has a little pink collar on today for Valentine's Aww. Day. Okay. So you ready for the word? The word is love. Aww. L O V E, capital L O V E. Type that in, and you could possibly win a $50 gift card. We're going to be giving that away in about two minutes. So yeah. let's get it on in there. Need more of that. Type in, the in world. love. Well, we had it today. We, yes, we did. We show, you showed lots of love today. Thank you so much. No problem. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I was a little worried, but now. This was hey, fun. you got that under your belt. Let's yeah. do it. What are we doing next week, Colleen? <laughs> no, I, I When I told it. Barbie, because Barbie wasn't watching. able to be here today, yeah. she had a little something. She's fine. Um, oh, yeah. She's doing really good. But anyway, um, she, uh, I said, I, I want to do a mug rug. I said, and the first thing out of both of our mouths was Colleen. Yeah. Colleen, yeah, because I know you know how to do those mug rugs oh, really yeah. good. So, yeah. I, and they're just fun. And again, I, what I started earlier while we're waiting for everybody to get their love wrote, um, a housewarming gift. 
you go to the dollar store and you get those cute wooden trays. You can stain them. You can paint them. Put four of these. You can do variegated. You could do the colors of their house. There's so many things you can do. Tie a ribbon around it. Housewarming gift. Absolutely. I mean, in a couple hours, pops. Summer's and feeling the love. Yeah. We got 67 entries so far. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You ready to go? Okay, let's do got five seconds. You ready? Get that word in there, capital L, and it's lowercase O V E. It's 68. I think we're about ready. Okay, five seconds is up. Okay. Go. Oh, we actually got one in there at the last minute. Nice. <laughs> the last second. Let's see who's going to win a $50 gift card. Carolee oh, Clayton. Yes. Oh, how cool. Congratulations, yes. Carolee. Awesome. So hopefully we'll see you in the store or you're welcome to use it on the website, but I'd rather see you in the store. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We so much appreciate it. We have a great Thumbs Up Thursday planned for you. All this week, all this month yes. is focused on embroidery because it's em National Embroidery Month. So, and we love our embroidery around here. So we're ready to celebrate right with you. Okay. And, and your theme is so much to love at AVS. So much to love at AVS. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh yes. my gosh. So, okay. so much to love. There you go. Could Summer. I better myself. Okay. You're going to say goodbye? Okay. Bye, say everybody. Goodbye.